This video shows you how to install the Yakima HD crossbar kit on your Ford Bronco hardtop model. With these crossbars, you've got a solid foundation for more rooftop adventure gear. Things like a cargo platform or basket, fishing rod box, or even a two-person tent. You can get these and other Ford approved accessories at accessories.ford.com. Check your packaging for these items before getting started. You'll also need a few other things to complete this installation. Take a minute to familiarize yourself with these four adjustment points on the towers. With the protective covers removed from all four towers, loosen each clamp bolt by turning to the left eight full turns and snap the coordinating bar seat in place. Next, turn the strap bolt to the left to loosen and release it. Use the loop to lift the strap off the tower. Then flip it over so you can see the bar adapter bolt. Place the bar adapter here, then turn the bolt to the right to tighten it. When fully tightened, the bolt makes clicking noises. Turn it three times while it's clicking. Before connecting the towers to the crossbars, you'll remove the rubber strips by pulling up and out. Set them aside for later use. Loosen the clamp bolts so you can slide the towers into the channels with their backsides facing outward. Next, you'll want some help aligning the towers with your vehicle's side rails. Make sure the rounded side faces forward and the center line is centered on each rail. This is centered. These are not centered. Check that the ends of your crossbars are an equal distance from each tower and even them up if needed. Next, make sure the rear crossbar is at least 24 inches from the front bar. Then you can hold the crossbars in place and turn each clamp bolt to the right to tighten the towers to the bars. Again, you'll hear clicking sounds when the bolt engages. Turn it for three rounds of multiple clicks. Now it's time to place the rubber strips you set aside earlier. Put one end in the channel under the tower and press it in place as you work your way across the bar. When you trim the rubber, leave one inch of extra material to tuck under the second tower. On each end, slide the rubber under the tower, then place a mark where it meets the end of the bar. Remove the rubber and cut it one inch shorter than where you marked it. Push this piece against the base of the tower to leave room for the end caps later. Now you're ready to put the bars on your Bronco. Pull the strap beneath the rail and hook it on the tower. Then, turn the strap bolt to the right to tighten it down. Turn it for three rounds of multiple clicks. Make sure the bars are secure. The vehicle can move a bit, but they should stay firmly in place. Then you can push the end caps on the crossbars and place the covers on the towers. If you'd like, you can use the control key to load the lock cores into your towers now. The untamed world is calling. Get out there in your accessorized Ford Bronco.